Hi, this is Songwriting Journey with Old Woolly, and I'm here to talk to you about, is it art? Um, I'm not talking about the general concept of whether songwriting is art in itself. You know, it's certainly artistic, it's craft, and you know, there's certainly arty songs out there. Bohemian Rhapsody is art. Um, and certain things where you just think, oh, Johnny be good. I mean, it's part of the zeitgeist. Is it art? Okay, let's say it is. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm asking, is what are your, your writing? Is what you're writing worth it? Is it good? Is it going to be inspirational? Is it go, going to go beyond, or could it go beyond what you've got here in your songwriting space to take it and elevate it and make it really amazing? Um, here's what I think you need to know is... Firstly, you have to be able to recognize it, which isn't easy on your own, because every, every time you innovate, you'll be interested in something. So I'll come back to that in a sec. You really want to know, is it art? Do you need to work on it more? Is it ready to present? And instead, should you be using the, the moment to go, I've written something I'm pretty happy with. Let's go write another one straight away. I think that's another really interesting question is whether or not you should be too analytical about those sort of things. We'll come to that last. All right. Is it special? How do you know it's special? Well, um, first things first, I would say if you're humming it to yourself the next day without an instrument in your hand, without trying, then it's going to be worth it. All right. It means it's memorable. You know, if it's a, a, a hook or a leak lyrically that you want to kind of keep on talking to yourself, if you're tapping it out on your knee, if you're humming it to yourself, oh, you know, wonderful. Then you've got something there. It, you know, it could be that you just really like your stuff or you've got a great memory. That's fine too. But that means it's worth presenting to someone else. Okay, at that point, if you know then then it's, I think it's worth moving forward and uh, presenting to someone that you trust and giving their opinion, whether it's a, a co-writer, whether it's a bandmate, whether it's some, someone else that you use to filter all your music. Um, at that point, you could decide to work on it more. You can say, oh, right, well, this clearly needs some ins, some outs, solo, a structure, starting to arrange it almost by then does it need other instrumentation does it need vocal affectation does it need editing of the vocal melody does it need harmonies all right that sort of stuff you start you know there's a whole lot of work in that and i think it's worth trying to figure that out before before you present it to someone how much work do i spend on this one right now because um, we're talking about opportunity cost. Um, if you spend a whole week thinking this is special and you work it to the nth degree and it loses that little hook that gives someone else the idea to work from, it's not really worth doing. How do you present it? How do you present it to the person or is it ready to present? Um, you know, you might have something that's just especially in your style, if you're simple instrumentation, simple voice, or just playing um, a, an instrumental piece, it might be good enough already um, to be a final product. But most of the time, I wonder whether or not it's worth uh, making it a little bit more presentable. Um, for me, that's sometimes writing to a click, or which I do with a headphone in, um, so it's not recorded. Um, or sometimes I'll play a, a scratch track and I'll sing over the top of it so I can get the timing right, um, a loop of some sort. And then I can have a recording that I can present or I can sit down and kind of master it and tighten it up. Um, like a mini rehearsal session before I could present it to someone. So all those things are options, um, but they take time. And this is where I'm, I'm at. This, this Before you wait for it to be shower time the next day or I've put an extra week into it or 
I've spent a good two hours to make sure I've got I know where what where all the notes are that I'm hitting them with my voice or my fingers are going to be in this position or actually should I change the cording of it so I can get my hands into it quicker and it sounds smoother or the voicing of the chords or the or something like that or do I get a bass that runs underneath it to cause a counter melody or something like that. Before you do all that, consider when you write a song that you like, whether you should just have hit stop on the recording and then hit start on recording and start something else and see where it works. I think there's something in that, uh, especially if you've got time. Uh, talking about flow states um, with a friend of mine and I think it's nicer to think it like, uh, am I in the zone? Am I in the pocket? So if I've got something where I'm pretty groovy at the moment, why don't I just start with being groovy? Why don't I start with a boom, 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 whatever it is, you know, light swing and all right, now I'm going to get the, the instrument to do that as well. And where's it take me? All right. And it could turn you into something else. That's a second song that's right and accessible immediately. So I think um, uh, my suggestion here is don't get too excited that your song might be good. Um, leave that for later. Leave it for the shower. Leave it for waiting or talking or spending a bit more time about your songs with another person and spend a little bit of time just if you think you've done a good song you could play it and be excited about it but instead just have a little try of something else because you might get something better than you thought um, if you've already just got a, a way of thinking in your head you can have two songs like that or one that's actually inspired by another one and uh, so that's my my general idea about uh, figuring out whether it's art, figuring out whether it's, whether it's good. It's like if you if you have a feeling that it's good, then use that. Don't 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 get caught up in the excitement of it. Don't get worried about whether it's art. Um, it's all songwriting. It's all going to be a benefit for you in the long run. <sighs> One last bit is if you keep on getting that point where you go, I keep smashing my head against the wall. And I'm never writing art. I'm never writing what I want to write. Then I'd like you to sit down and think about what you want out of a song. What are you trying to achieve from the song? Do you want to make something uh, that makes you feel a certain way? Do you want to make sure your lyrics are to a certain level? Do you want to make sure you are improving your melody? Um, do you want to make someone else happy with a song? Or do you want to make yourself happy with a song? Find out what your goal is and work to that. And if it is an art, then just you know, have another go. It's all right. All right. That's enough for today. Um, if you think this was a bit too um, off the cuff, let me know. Because um, I think this is just one of those things I wanted to ramble on about. Um, if you liked it, though, um, click the like button, subscribe. Um, have a chat in the comments about uh, what you do when you think something's really a ripper of a song and we'll see how it all, um, all, all pans out in the comments. See you later. Happy songwriting.